This icy mountain's past seems to go on forever. We walked a long way here. Lance looks exhausted too. We've been running all this time out of depression. What in store for us next? Are we really doing the right thing? Brr, this is too cold. There's nothing but snow now. The scenery has been the same for a while. I wonder if we're really making progress. Hey, I was thinking. I think we've come to a place that's empty except for us. I have this feeling there's nothing ahead of here even if we keep moving. Now I'm getting exhausted. Wait too, what's going to happen to us? I don't know. I'm sorry. I said something stupid to frighten you. There isn't any point in wondering about what might happen, not after coming this far. Even though we didn't know what's ahead, we'll only know by pressing on. Don't worry, there's got to be something ahead. I have faith in you. That's what brought me here. But that's not changing. I still have faith in you. I'll keep going wherever you go. Don't trust me without any doubt. I can't afford to be indecisive. I have to believe in myself more. What? What was that? What? What was that? Is this what I think it is? Dizzy? Or what? Huh? Something wrong? Finally. Finally you have arrived. Someone is talking to me. Lance. No, this voice isn't Lance. This voice. I've heard it somewhere. He's Gardevoir. Finally, you have arrived. I've been waiting for you. Gardevoir? I am so glad. Finally we get to meet. You... What? Is something the matter? Why are you talking to yourself? I cannot be seen by others. I'm visible only to you. A little farther ahead, there is the jagged mountain range, topped by Mount Freeze. Beside its peak, Nine Tails lives. Nine Tails? Nine Tails awaits your arrival. Beware. Oh, wait. Hey, what's the matter? What happened? Oh, so something like that happened. Kind of why I appeared to you. That's why you were looking so stunned earlier. I'm amazed though. Ninetales isn't just a legend, it really exists. And that Ninetales is up at the peak. Sniffle. All the effort we put into getting here is finally going to be bare fruit. We'll meet Ninetales and get the truth. We'll finally get rid of the suspicious others. How about you? Listen, don't be so worried. It'll be alright. It's only natural that you would be scared of meeting Ninetales. The heartless human who abandoned Gardevoir. Maybe you. I can understand how you could think that. But that's impossible. You're not that human, I'm sure. He does believe so much in me. Well, there was a time when I had some doubts. But now, I wonder why. I really don't know why. But it's alright. You are a really good sort. You know, before, when I first got the idea to start a rescue team, I met you in the tiny woods. Now that I think about it, there's something different about you. You're strange, isn't it? But I believe in you. <laughs> anyway, we'll know the truth when we get to the peak. Let's do our best. Hey, what is up, man? Inside the crew, it's the Nintendo Five Forever. Welcome back to my West Play Mystery Dungeon. In the last episode, we um, took on Articuno. In this episode, we're gonna go through a uh, Mount Freeze. All right. So after a very long, um, delayed intro, we're finally getting to do this. Um, so yeah, I am ready. We would like to go to Mount Freeze. Let's go. So our best to reach peak. That were a very long delayed intro. How long was that? Four minutes in. <laughs> that is uh, kind of ridiculous. Anyway, so um, I'm going to start off by showing Absol, our new team member. He's just um, one of them team members where you can just recruit many times if you want, but I'm still not going to use him. Anyway, so he's level 30 when you start off, um, level 30? I mean 20. Um, his moves are Scratch, Leer, Tart and Quick Attack. Not gonna lie, they're kinda crap, but, yeah, he's better than nothing, I guess. Um, I just find it funny how he's stronger than me and Lancer. Like, you'd think it'd be weird, but, honestly, with me, I haven't really been doing training at all, so, 
Yeah. Anyway, so hopefully when we meet Nine Tails, this um, thing will die down and it won't be so peed off at us anymore. But if it does die down, they should just give us a load of revivers. It's like, come on, the amount of times we've died so far and like, friggin' the amount of trouble they've caused. I think we deserve it. Um, that's just in my opinion, but I think we deserve it. So, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so far, these guys are doing quite a bit of damage. I'm not gonna lie. No, no, not cool. No, ah, no, no, no. All right, I'm back, and I thought I'd meet you at the staircase. Um. I thought it'd be easier. But anyway. So, are you joking, man? What the free? Why does that do so much damage? Ah, uh, hold on a minute. This is unfair. Hold on. Okay. Um, I'm gonna send Absol back because it's just dead weight. Wait, I can't. What? Okay, that's interesting. If Absol dies, then... You don't die. That's kind of interesting. Um, but let's disable that. So I just thought you're a bit unfair. And why is my HP? Okay, that was weird. Um, that's interesting. I thought if Absol died, then you had to restart the dungeon again. Um, because I couldn't um get rid of him. But it's a good thing I cut anyway, because some my my dad will ring me. So yeah, good thing I did cut anyway. You see, I just cut anyway just because um I was going to release him and um. Like, what I was also going to do was, um, like, well, I thought I was going to have to cut because I thought I was going to die, so that's why I cut. Uh, so yeah. Anyway. So, not going to lie, this is actually a pretty strong dungeon. Um, really strong. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Really? Really? Alright, I thought it was me up far flat. I can't remember if we were there or not, but you know. Um Yeah. And I've actually told I'm gonna keep the infinite health on for a bit because um at this rate I'm not gonna get through here. Um So I'm just gonna keep infinite health on. I know it sucks. And I'm not I'm just gonna I'm just being a wuss, but I'm sorry. Not like Murder me in my sleep. I really don't like that. Last time someone did that, it hurt. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm not gonna lie, this is actually a really hard dungeon. Um, hopefully we can get some nine tails soon. Because I don't really want to spend too long in here because it's cold. <laughs> no, that isn't the reason. The reason is because I don't want to spend like an hour in a dungeon because I think that'd be kind of boring and I don't want to die too much because it kind of makes for some bad commentary and once after a while it just get a bit repetitive so yeah I'm gonna try and keep this short and sweet like I normally do and yeah but anyway so just slowly making our way through here um yeah anyway so after I've done this I'm gonna play a bit of Billy Hatcher and edit this um, because I really want to play it. I'm not. I just, I just felt like playing it. Um, I don't know why. Um, oh yeah, sorry for my commentary. Seems a bit lackluster. Uh, yeah, got kind of a bit of a cold. Uh, come on. Anyway. Do not be. What was that? What was that? TM. Oh, it's all told, man. I, was gonna, I thought you said flamethrower for a minute. I was like, no. Oh my god, that would have been bad. But, um, anyway, so I actually thought you said flamethrower drops, and I was like, no, no, because <laughs> that would actually suck. I mean, you guys probably would have been laughing at me, like, ha ha, flamethrower drops in the water. But I would not have been laughing. I would have just been like, screw you. <laughs> Alright. So, 
After I've gotten through here, I think I might just end the recording session because it's kind of getting a bit boring now. Well, I wouldn't say boring, just... Eh. Right, my commentary has just been a bit lackluster today. So, yeah. And um, sorry I keep, uh, like, super speeding. It. Like, I don't mean to do it, it's just forced to have it. Right. Like, see, what it is, is when I'm cutting, I'm always super speeding, so... I just do it by instinct, so... Yeah, I'm gonna try and stop doing that. As soon as I say it, I just go back to doing it. <sighs> Whatever. I really don't care at this point, to be honest. What? Oh, my belly's empty. I'm only um, filling my belly up because it's kind of getting annoying. So, well, I've got like no to eat except for gummies. Ah, I'm hitting him for. Go, Lance! You're sitting him for the wall. <laughs> that that was actually quite cool. Um. Go Lance! <laughs> Alright. That's actually quite a cheap strategy, actually. Um, it's like you can't hit him and yet you just get him through the wall. Not gonna lie, that's actually a cheap yet funny strategy. Um, well. Mind you, I guess that's the advantage of being a water type. Uh, so. How many floors is it? This is kinda getting silly. Oh my god, how many floors is there? Seriously now. Um, I don't know how many floors they are. Um, I think I got infinite health on. I should have like googled this. Right, I need to do, when it comes to Let's Plays, I need to do more research. Alright, we're at the peak, so. Um, in the next episode, we're going to um, hopefully find um, Ninetales. So, thanks for watching, see you later.